hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I will be making a quick, fast, five minute around there uh, tutorial video for people who do not know how to use Roscale. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Just want to go over the basics of how to use Roscale in a Roscale game, as simple as that. I saw, like, I've been seeing a lot of, like, when I uh, join Roscale games, I see a lot of people who are like, hey, how do I start row scale how do i like start up the engine how do i do this how do we do how do i do this how do i do that and so i try to help people some people get it some people don't and it i just wanted to make a video to uh help those people who don't understand and get them a little bit of clarification on how to use row scale so we're gonna go off right we're gonna start right off the bat here we're gonna go to game pass and so right here is well, i guess we'll do the uh big alice engine simple enough it, that's a nice and you know simple engine to use so when you want to when you find the train you want to use like the engine you're going to want to click find address now when you click find address a little box is going to appear on the top of the um train and it's going to say dcc address and a number now you're going to want to click this box and once it becomes green that means that you have control of the train you're going to want to click find address again on the controller so it puts it you know hides it and so how you're going to want to you know start driving a, a uh, row scale train is you're going to want to select either forward or reverse either way you want to go and you're going to want to throttle up once you throttle up it's going to start moving now um the more you throttle up the more you get to 100 the faster it's going to go so that's how you control speed um so if you want to go in reverse you're going to want to you can either put it at zero you can either like put it down to zero manually or you can click the stop button which completely stops it and you're going to want to click the reverse button now when you click the reverse button you can throttle back up again and you'll start going in reverse and like i said before closer you go to 100 the more speed you're gonna you know the faster you're gonna go the throttle it's gonna you know throttle up the speed so you're gonna click stop again that's how you stop it uh, I'll get to mode in a second, but uh, the lights and the bell and the horn, that all depends on if the train has lights, bell, and a horn. If it doesn't, then they, uh, they don't do anything, like bell doesn't work, horn doesn't work, you know. So that's only if the train has those features integrated into it. Now, if you want to, if you don't like this reverse button thing, this first uh, forward and reverse idea, and you want to go with a more, I would say, experienced approach, you can click on mode, and it will have a different setup. Zero will be at the top, there will be a negative 100, and a plus 100. So how this works is, you want to go forward, then you're going to start moving the throttle into the plus 100 area, and you'll start going forward. The faster, the you know, closer you get to plus 100, the faster you're going to go. Now you can click stop to bring you back to zero. And if you want to go in reverse, you can thro uh, put the throttle backwards towards in the uh, negative 100 area. And you will start going in reverse simple as that pretty simple easy little thing there and you can click stop and you'll put it back at zero um if you want to you can use the forward and reverse still in this mode say that you want to say you put your train going at like 50 percent and then you want to go in reverse at 50 percent as well well you don't have to do this and try to main like match it up to 50. if you want to you can just click reverse and it automatically puts it in 50 percent and then you go in reverse so that's as simple as that with the engine um if you want to add cars to your train so this is how the cars work you can find your car that you want to add onto the train click spawn well not really in this case you click spawn but in other row scales you'd find it spawn it in get your engine forward it up and you see these so well before i just click them together they were both both of the couplers were yellow when, they're, when the coupler is in yellow mode, it means that it can be connected to another yellow coupler. So, like demonstrated the connected, and now they're both green, and they're both connected to each other. So, you want to disconnect a coupler, and you want to bring your camera close, and you're going to want to get kind of close to the couplers. And you're going to want to click them. When you click the coupler, I think I'm just going to, yeah, there we go. When you click the coupler, they're going to both be blue. For this case, I accidentally clicked it again, so it's going to be yellow. But they're going to both be blue, and when you pull them away, whoops, wrong way, sorry. When you pull them away, they're going to both turn yellow. And once they both turn yellow, uh, that means they're, you know, decoupled. And also, the train is decoupled from the car. And this also works with other cars, like cars and 
they all it's all the same like the it's not just the engine in the car you can also put like a car and another car together you know it's all the same um so say that you don't want a coupler to be ever coupled with another coupler then you can go to a yellow coupler and you can click on it and it'll turn red this means that when you try to couple it with another coupler it will not couple it just doesn't so if you want to undo this you can simply just go next to it and click it again if it will let me hello sorry i'm having technical difficulties here there we go and it turns back to yellow and you can recouple them and again i uh the blue mode i don't exactly know what the blue coupler means all i know is that once you start moving in like a car with a blue coupler it will automatically change to a yellow coupler so i don't exactly know what the blue coupler does but it's there so yeah i would say that's about all the basics for row scale there's not really much else to explain when it comes down to row scale and its basics that's about it for um the basics of you know all, mostly all of row scales all row scales use mainly the same controller and the dip and the same controls to control the train so that's about how how basic you're going to get with row scale uh, i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe so i can keep making more videos i'm going to have another row scale video out hopefully soon i will just have to get to making it otherwise when i can i will definitely post it and get it on my youtube channel as fast as possible thank you all for watching and i hope to see you on the next video